To solve an equation like this, we need to get x alone, so we're going to subtract two-fifths from each side. So on the left, it cancels and leaves us with x. On the right, we get seven-tenths minus two-fifths. On the right, when I subtract, uh, two-fifths is actually equal to four-tenths. If I multiply top and bottom by two, I get four-tenths. So if I do seven-tenths minus four-tenths, that leaves me with three tenths. Therefore, x itself must be three tenths. So let's just think this through to make sure that it makes sense. I'm claiming that three tenths plus two fifths equals seven tenths. Well, as we said, two fifths is actually equal to four tenths. So four tenths plus three tenths in total does give us seven tenths. And our answer checks out. Thank you.